Chapter Eight of the Sayings of Lao Tzu by Lao Tzu, translated by Lionel Giles. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Nemo. Miscellaneous Sayings and Precepts. By many words, wit is exhausted. It is better to retain what is in the heart. The excellence of a dwelling is its sight. The excellence of a mind is its profundity. The excellence of giving is charitableness. The excellence of speech is truthfulness. The excellence of government is order. The excellence of action is ability. The excellence of movement is timeliness. He who grasps more than he can hold would be better without any. If a house is crammed with treasures of gold and jade, it will be impossible to guard them all. He who prides himself upon wealth and honor hastens his own downfall. He who strikes with a sharp point will not himself be safe for long. By uniting the intelligent and animal souls, and embracing unity, can you avoid dissolution? By concentrating your breath, and striving to make it soft, can you become like a little child? By purifying your spiritual vision, can you become without a flaw? The sage attends to the inner, and not to the outer. He puts away the objective, and holds to the subjective between yes and yea how small the difference between good and evil how great the difference what the world reverences may not be treated with disrespect he who has not faith in others shall find no faith in them to see oneself is to be clear of sight mighty is he who conquers himself he who raises himself on tiptoe cannot stand firm he who stretches his legs wide apart cannot walk racing and hunting excite man's heart to madness the struggle for rare possessions drives a man to actions injurious to himself the heavy is the foundation of the light repose is the ruler of unrest the wise prince in his daily course never departs from gravity and repose though he possesses a gorgeous palace he will dwell therein with calm indifference how should the lord of a myriad chariots conduct himself with levity in the empire levity loses men's hearts unrest loses the throne the skilful traveller leaves no tracks the skilful speaker makes no blunders the skilful reckoner uses no tallies he who knows how to shut uses no bolts yet you cannot open he who knows how to bind uses no cords yet you cannot undo among men reject none among things reject nothing this is called comprehensive intelligence the good man is the bad man's teacher the bad man is the material upon which the good man works if the one does not value his teacher if the other does not love his material then despite their sagacity they must go far astray this is a mystery of great import as unwrought materials divided up and made into serviceable vessels so the sage turns his simplicity to account and thereby becomes the ruler of rulers the course of things is such that what was in front is now behind what was hot is now cold what was strong is now weak what was complete is now in ruin therefore the sage avoids excess extravagance and grandeur which is nearer to you fame or life which is more to you life or wealth which is the greater malady gain or loss excessive ambitions necessarily entail great sacrifice much hoarding must be followed by heavy loss he who knows when he has enough will not be put to shame he who knows when to stop will not come to harm such a man can look forward to long life there is no sin greater than yielding to ambition no calamity greater than discontent no vice greater than covetousness he who has known the contentment of being contented will always be content do not wish to be rare like jade or common like stone the sage has no hard and fast ideas but he shares the ideas of the people and makes them his own living in the world 
he has the appearance of timidity and for the world's sake keeps his mind in a state of flux the people all fix their eyes and ears upon him the sage looks upon all as his children i have heard that he who possesses the secret of life when travelling abroad will not flee from rhinoceros or tiger when entering a hostile camp he will not equip himself with sword or buckler the rhinoceros finds in him no place to insert its horn the tiger has nowhere to fasten its claw the soldier has nowhere to thrust his blade and why because he has no spot where death can enter to see small beginnings is clearness of sight to rest in weakness is strength he who knows how to plant shall not have his plant uprooted he who knows how to hold a thing shall not have it taken away sons and grandsons will worship at his shrine which shall endure from generation to generation knowledge of harmony is the secret of the unchanging knowledge of the unchanging means enlightenment to increase life is of evil omen the mind directing the vital force is strength the sage is square but not angular strict without injuring others straightforward but not unrestrained luminous but not dazzling good words shall gain you honour in the marketplace but good deeds shall gain you friends among men to the good i would be good to the not good i would also be good in order to make them good with the faithful i would keep faith with the unfaithful i would also keep faith in order that they may become faithful even if a man is bad how can it be right to cast him off requite injury with kindness the difficult things of this world must once have been easy the great things of this world must once have been small set about difficult things while they are still easy do great things while they are still small the sage never affects to do anything great and therefore he is able to achieve his great results he who always thinks things easy is sure to find them difficult therefore the sage ever anticipates difficulties and thus it is he never encounters them while times are quiet it is easy to take action ere coming troubles have cast their shadows it is easy to lay plans that which is brittle is easily broken that which is minute is easily dissipated take precautions before the evil appears regulate things before disorder has begun the tree which needs two arms to span its girth sprang from the tiniest shoot yon tower nine stories high rose from a little mound of earth a journey of a thousand miles began with a single step a great principle cannot be divided therefore it is that many containers cannot contain it the sage knows what is in him but makes no display he respects himself but seeks not honour for himself to know but to be as though not knowing is the height of wisdom not to know and yet to affect knowledge is a vice if we regard this vice as such we shall escape it the sage has not this vice it is because he regards it as a vice that he escapes it use the light that is in you to revert to your natural clearness of sight then the loss of the body is unattended by calamity this is called doubly enduring in the management of affairs people constantly break down just when they are nearing a successful issue if they took as much care at the end as at the beginning they would not fail in their enterprises he who lightly promises is sure to keep but little faith he whose boldness leads him to venture will be slain he who is brave enough not to venture will live of these two one has the benefit the other has the hurt but who is it that knows the real cause of heaven's hatred this is why the sage finds it difficult to act the violent and stiff-necked die not by a natural death true words are not fine fine words are not true the good are not contentious the contentious are not good this is the way of heaven which benefits and injures not this is the way of the sage in whose actions there is no element of strife